Okay, uh, let's do this one. Indigestion, G-O-R-D. Feeling of burning, burning in the chest due to the acid reflux. Gastroesophageal uh, reflux. Uh, right, so the presenting complaint is heartburn. Again, G-O-R-D, indigestion is uh, nothing much to worry. But again, what we have to do, we need to rule out some uh, red flags. We need to rule out some important differentials, some killers. So heartburn. So you, you, you have to ask nausea, vomiting. You have to ask for abdominal pain. You can ask for fever. You can ask for alternate bowel habits, change in the bowel habits, diarrhea or constipation, bloating, abdominal cramps. All these things you need to ask. Right. Now, uh, what's the reason why a patient has got it? Indigestion. Indigestion can be because of some, some drugs as well. Indigestion could be related to the diet as well, could be related to smoking, could be related to alcohol. So there are many reasons. Uh, of course, this may not be nothing... To worry, but make sure you're ruling out your important differentials. You're ruling out cancer. You're ruling out like maybe infection, esophagitis. So you can ask all those questions, right? And if patient has got dysphagia, you may have to go for further scans as well, right? So let me bring it to you one a table as well. Then we'll come back to this slide. So uh, this is taken from the Oxford Handbook. So, you know, if patient has got dysphagia or more than 55 years of age, or they have got persistent symptom or alarm sign symptoms. What are these alarm sign symptoms? A is your anemia. Uh, we're looking for iron deficiency. Then we have got L. L is your loss of weight. A is your loss of appetite. So you can say anorexia. Then you have got your R. What is your R? R is, they say, like maybe any recent onset of symptom or the symptoms are progressive, for example, right? Then you have got M. M is your melina. That can be seen in gastric problem, gastric cancer, maybe. And then you have got another one. That is your uh, uh, A. Uh, so uh, alarm, sorry, S, S, A, L, E. A L A R M S. That is your dysphagia, swallowing problem. Right. So the thing is, if the patient has got dysphagia more than 55 years or patient has got these alarm symptoms, what do you do? You go for upper GI endoscopy for sure. You don't need to wait for anything. You don't need to wait. All right. Otherwise, if we don't have these, because, you know, it is very easy for us to say we are uh, going to mention about upper GI endoscopy. But in this country, it's not done like that. You cannot just send every patient for upper GI endoscopy. You have to actually do the triage, I would say. You need to find out which patient really needs it or which patient maybe we can wait or maybe we can uh, go for some other line of treatment for the time being. All right. So, uh, 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 if patient has got dyspepsia, for example, so what you need to do is, I mean, if you get this uh, dysphagia, more than 55 alarm symptoms, upper GI endoscopy. If no, then you have to find out if there is any drug that patient is taking that is uh, causing dyspepsia. You know, a good clinician is if patient is coming with a problem, always check if patient taking any medication because the reason could be the side effect of that medication. So the symptom could be because of that drug only. So be very careful on that. Yeah. In real life also, not for the exam. I mean, uh, so stop using uh, that, that drug. Some like, for example, patient is taking NSAIDs. That could be the reason of dyspepsia. So you may not be doing anything. You just stop the medication. All right. Lifestyle changes, that is something that you need to do. Lifestyle changes, we're talking about uh, smoking, we're talking about alcohol, we're talking about bad diet as well. And uh, what else we can do? We can tell the patient to take over-the-counter antacids as well. We can tell the patient to uh, take over-the-counter antacid like uh, uh, magnesium trisilicate, for example. And we tell the patient, we will review you in four weeks' time. That will be the management. So whenever patient comes to you, you need to see where the patient is in my slide. This is a slide where the patient is. For example, okay, okay, so for example, now the improvement happened. You don't need to do anything. Patient symptoms improved, you're fine. You don't need to do anything. All right. For example, you got a case where the task says uh, 
patient was taking and said now patient is not taking. Patient has actually tried uh, over-the-counter antacids as well, magnesium trisilicate. For example, patient has already tried. Still patient is having dyspepsia. Still patient is having indigestion, GORD symptoms are not improving. Then what you do, you go for testing for H. pylori. All right, so that's your next step. So you go, you go for testing for H. pylori. If it comes to be negative, then what you do, you go for uh, proton pump inhibitors, PPIs you give, or you give H2 blockers for four weeks, right? So you give omoprazole, pentaprozole, that is something you give for four weeks, right? If it is positive, obviously, if it is a positive H. pylori infection, then what you have to do, you have to do triple therapy and you have to give the treatment to eradicate the H. pylori infection. All right, so this is uh, what you have to do. And obviously, like once you're done with this, uh, uh, you might see patient uh, has got the improvement and you don't need to do anything further. If still there is no improvement, if there is no improvement, then you may be have you may be going for urea breath test. You may be checking the patient again for H. pylori to confirm if the H. pylori has been eradicated or not. All right and so this is how you have to do and here if the patient has got improvement it's fine if uh, uh, no improvement then what you have to do you may have to go for uh, upper GI endoscopy as well so this is something that you have to do so in 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 case of like dyspepsia indigestion don't go directly for uh, uh, endoscopy see what can be the cause here try to treat that Mention about lifestyle advices. Tell the patient to take over-the-counter uh, antacids. That is not working. I mean, for four weeks, you have, you have given. It's not working. Go for H. pylori treatment, right? And if the H. pylori is there, you treat it. I mean, you test for H. pylori. If it is there, you treat it. If it's not there, give a trial of PPI for four weeks. And if there is improvement, it's fine. And if there is... Uh, uh, no improvement, you may have to consider upper GI endoscopy. Or if H. pylori was, was there, you treated it, still symptoms are there, you can do urea breath test, you can repeat your H. pylori test as well. Or sometimes what we do, if still it's positive, you will give another try to treat H. pylori infection. So two times maybe you can treat H. pylori. Still symptoms, you may have to go for uh, upper GI endoscopy. All right. So... Uh, so with this, actually, you can manage any kind of station that is coming to you uh, with indigestion. All right. <clears throat> so anemia, AIDS, anemia, iron deficiency, anemia, and loss of weight, uh, anorexia, loss of appetite, recent onset of progressive symptoms, melina, are a swallowing problem, dysphagia. All right. So heartburn, so we were talking about the indigestion. So uh, ask for other associated symptoms as well. Obviously ask for cancer symptoms as well. Ask for alarm symptoms as well. Lifestyle advice is very, very important. Drug history, very, very important because that is your treatment plan, okay? So general physical examination, vitals I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be checking the weight of the patient. ENT examination, throat, everything you need to check. What's esophagitis? You'll do chest examination, abdominal examination. All right. So what is the treatment? So treatment, I think you understood. First is lifestyle advices. You have to tell the patient, maybe you can go for uh, 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 lifestyle advices. That's number one. Or else so we go for uh, uh, over-the-counter uh, antacids as well, PPIs, or maybe H. pylori treatment, maybe urea breath test, or you may have to go for upper GI endoscopy as well. So that will be your treatment. You have to say where you are. Please ask for red flags and please do bring them to the warning signs as well, right? So safety netting, follow up. If the symptoms are getting worse, uh, dysphagia is there, obviously, then you have to go for upper GI endoscopy. So patient age more than 55, dysphagia, alarm symptoms, you straight away go for upper GI endoscopy. So be very, very careful on this. But it's, it's you know, very common. Indigestion is very, very common thing as well. So sometimes it's a matter of worry. Sometimes it can be managed with simple measures as well. So see the age of the patient, see the symptoms of the patient, and see which stage of uh, the problem patient is there. Did patient try something before or not? If they have tried something, you have to go to the next step. If they haven't tried anything, so you will go and treat the patient accordingly. So this is what you have in uh, this particular station of indigestion. All right. Mm -hmm.